Searcher number 43 is now navigating to a gay website. Let's sell him stuff that might be of interest to, interest to him as a gay person. And by the way, the greatest quote, again, God bless the EFF, this is analogous to AT&T listening into your phone calls all day in order to figure out what to sell you at dinner. It's really true. Cloud computing. How many people here store files offline or use stuff like Google Documents? Honestly. Okay, do you not know that everything that you are reaching out and touching is now suddenly available to all of these intrusive people? Another great site. Now we're going to go into the sites that investigators use. Monster.com. Monster has 40 million people either looking for workers or looking for jobs. There's resumes up there, name, date of birth, address, educational history, training, background, earning history. <coughs> I can tell you when I do competitive intelligence on a company, what are the first places I go? Why? I find people who used to work for the company that I'm investigating and I chat with them. They don't work there anymore and they talk to me. Also, I see what type of positions the company's trying to fill. What type of problems they're having. Are they offering less for the same position now than they did a year ago? Enormous amount of information. People put their entire resumes up there. Zaba search. Zaba search is available. You know, most people laugh at this. They think it's crap. It's got Kevin Mitnick's every single address in there. And presumably Kevin knows how to hide. You in the audience, Kevin? <laughs> Well, we've got your address. This is the entire TransUnion credit database without the identifiers. Zoom info. Again, jobs. All of these sites and LinkedIn and, and, and all of the sites that you're constantly like me getting mail from your friends that want you to join their circle. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, finances. Again, as an investigator, thank you. One of the hardest things to do is find your money so we can grab it when you owe a client money. So many of you, however, these days are considerate. And you go to Microsoft's money or the Quicken site, and you put things up there like, hi, I'm Bob from Flatbush. And I just inherited $100,000 from my dead aunt Gladys. And where should I put this money? And trust me, Bob, we know who you are. There are millions and millions of these posts. Who links to me, Google's links to, incredible aids. Now, <laughs> some stuff cracks me up. We've covered how considerate you are by putting your entire life up for public view. We've covered the publicly available sites that grab your data and amalgamate your data when you touch them in any way. If you're smart, if you're careful, it doesn't matter. Somebody else will put your stuff up there. There's, there's hundreds of these, but these two just cracked me up. Don'tdatehimgirl.com and who's a rat? Dot com. Here's Don't Date Him Girl. This, as you might, as you might imagine, is reviews of dates that did not live up to the woman's highest expectations. Here is alleged cheater Aaron Carter III. His name, his age, his height, his weight, his city, state. And the note, this boy will use you like no other. He smokes weed all day, every day. And if he doesn't have it, he will freak out. Thank you. Very helpful if I'm checking him out. Okay, here's the funniest one. <laughs> this is Jonathan John Rainwater from McDonough, Georgia. John, if you're in the audience, I'm really sorry for this. <laughs> this man, or so-called boy, is such a liar. First he said that he loved me, and we were together for four years. And then I